You know, there's an old saying, you never miss the water till the well runs dry. What we have here is, well, clean water. Very nice. Now, how to get it. Okay, what we're going to look at today is a slow sand filter that's part of a roof water harvesting system. We're going to see it in operation, but we're going to focus on the filter and cover the rest of the apparatus in detail in another video. So what you're looking at right now is the filter. That's the black barrel. It's 36 inches deep, the barrel is. The sand inside is 30 inches deep. This contraption on top is just a reservoir that we fill manually. Now the pipe that you're looking at there with the water dripping out, that's part of the recirculation system. And that system is necessary to keep the biofilm alive because we only add water once in a while. That gray barrel that you're looking at there is part of the storage system and that stores the water that's already been filtered. The pipe in the middle of those two barrels is just the delivery system. Part of the delivery system, that's the output from the filter. This blue barrel is storage. This is more storage and that pump there, that pitcher pump, that's how we pump the water out and add it manually. More storage, this is all pre-filter storage now that we're looking at. More storage here. And this contraption that we're looking at here is called a diverter. Some people call it a roof washer. Some people call it a first flush diverter. We just call it a diverter. Now what you're looking at here is the water that was discarded. Okay, what you're looking at here is the water that the diverter sends to the storage system after it has discarded the most polluted part of the roof water flow. Now this is the water that we add to the filter manually. Okay, the length of the output pipe is set so that the water inside the barrel will drain down to a point where there'll be about an inch of water left on top of the sand then it stops draining and that way there's enough water left on top of the sand to keep oxygen to the biofilm and that keeps it alive what you see here is a baffle we've lifted up the top on the filter so you can see the baffle in action the bucket on top is filled we just put five gallons in there five gallons of water and if we look closely we can see this is how the baffle works it just it lets the water slowly drip. It doesn't disturb the biofilm. That's essentially all there is to it. That baffle is, it's basically the same thing that you saw on the other baffle. It's just PVC pipe, little holes drilled in it, and it lets the water drain out slowly. Okay, what we're looking at here in the top of the barrel is the biofilm. That's the top of the sand. That sand was white. Okay. This is about two years of accumulation. Okay, now this pump serves two purposes. One, to slowly recirculate the water from the holding tank that the uh, filter empties into. And also, it's hooked up to a faucet. So we can pump water out if we want. That's water that's been cleaned by a slow sand filter there. You can hear the pump going. Note the lack of foam or bubbles in there and how clean the water is. This is the water that's coming out of the slow sand filter that filters roof water. Now you remember uh, the earlier part of this video where you saw the 
water that was coming off the roof. Well, this is what we end up with. There's a storage barrel disconnected. Filter. Okay, now just to give you an idea of how clean this water actually is, the last test, which went in in January, was done on water that came out of the diverter, which had 30,000 CFUs per 100 milliliters. To make a long story short, that's really nasty water and you wouldn't dare drink it. It would make you really sick. Okay, so by the time it went through this filter and came out, it had 10 CFUs per 100 milliliters. That's probably not really safe to drink, although you could, but uh, it's really purified. Now, here's the catch. That was when the filter was operating at its least effective time. It was 32 degrees. They're not even supposed to work at 32 degrees, but this one did significantly. And it also took out almost all of the petroleum hydrocarbons from the roofing material. So, th this is phenomenal. And it works. 